This is the S&P 500 one day reading for September 28, 2022. It's currently August 15, 2022, 10.08 p.m. Uh, that's Eastern time. Now the theme uh, for the day has to do with an agreement or a decision between two leaders uh, or a merger of some kind. Um, the behavior around the high uh, for the day is a, a decline from the high through multiple support levels. I'm um, advised to open up some protection around the high um, and it looks like uh, on the uh, the behavior on the low, we have a decline to and through a support level to meet a secondary support level, and then we bounce sideways, rotating along that support level. The high and the low for the day are both within close time proximity to each other as well. Um, and there's likely some spoken advice here, some spoken word, a speech, or something like that. I'm um, advised to trade around that. Um, and something also that I should point out, guys, so we have the, on the one month overview, we've got the Knight of uh, Wands here. On the dailies, let me put that back where I can see it. On the dailies, we've got the Knight of Wands here as the sneak preview card for the 29th. We also have the Knight of Wands card here as the sneak pre preview card for the 28th. We have the Knights of Wands card here for the sneak preview card of the 27th. So there's a notable there's a notable move here, something to do with with a male leader that it provides inspiration. Um, and there's a there's a decline through a diagonal trend line that we were rallying along with increasing volatility on the way down. Now this may be something that happens over several days based on what I'm seeing here. Um, either that or it really has to do with like a male leader who's providing excitement and um, is is providing. Uh, uh, inspiration, maybe optimism. It's a long stretch of them. Um, so in the, and I'm advised to be very cautious when I trade here. I likely won't trade even though I'm advised to. I'm probably not going to trade here. I don't like the prudence card. Matter of fact, it's September. I won't be trading here. We're in the middle of a retrograde. All right. So we have something in the pre-market um, having to do with the agreement between two leaders or the decision between two leaders. Um, there's multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance in the pre-market, followed by a brief high um, right around the open and then a decline um, right around the open uh, through multiple support levels. Uh, so there's like a move to the upside, followed by a sharp decline down from it um, in that first half hour, we should say. Move to the upside that'll stand out on a one day chart, followed by a decline from that move to the upside. And then we'll be around, roughly around like um, 10 to 11-ish, we'll be rotating sideways along support. Appears to be a minor crest uh, right around 11-ish. Uh, a minor trough somewhere around 11.30ish. Yeah, and that you have the high and the low, like a, a, a crest and a trough within close proximity to each other here. Um, and there's a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meeting secondary resistance, and then pulling back to somewhere between the two. So that's off of that. Um, off of that support that we're moving sideways along, there's a rally along that diagonal to reach a crest, and then we fall um, to meet support at a day's low midday. Um, we'll be rotating along uh, sideways along that support uh, with increasing uh, bullish sentiment and momentum as we move into the one o'clock hour, where there's a fast sudden move to the upside. Um, and another trade opportunity in the midst of a prominent move higher between between that uh, one to three o'clock hour. There's also correlation to the Hermit card. The Hermit card on, on the one month overview. Um, and we have a we have a universal hexagram again here at the end of the day. So. Um, Look at this one. Let's see if we can get some direction here. Well, we have on the 29th, we have the um, Hermit card as the 
one month overview correlating card and so we see a lot of the hermit uh, card, uh, card in for, uh, energy here on the 28th um, and then at the end of the day so there's likely overnight there's likely a sharp decline here I'm advised to take protection uh, open up some protection early in the morning and then there's a sharp decline at the end of the day um, in the last two hours, sharp decline and continued sharp decline overnight. Uh, and more of that Knight of Wands energy. Uh, all right, guys, so that's the S&P 500 for September 28, 2022. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to, to subscribe. Um, if you've subscribed, thank you so much for that. And please share with somebody you think it'll help. Most importantly, when you make money from that reading, pay it forward pay it backwards and then like 90% left over do what you got to do with that out of love just make sure it's out of love and the universe will pay it back to you tenfold in all directions i'll see you on the next one